Hi, Dave Lankamp here once again. I've been uh, able to play around with a brand new Glowforge for my workshop here recently. And uh, one of the issues that I have, not with the Glowforge, but with creating uh, uh, artwork for the different projects I'm playing around with, and one of the simple projects you can get is making refrigerator magnets. And I'm into uh, airplanes and tech stuff, so I thought I'd make some, uh, say, make some magnets. But the problem I have in uh, the software I'm using, I'm using Corel uh, 2019 Home and Student Edition, which is uh, the latest version out right now, yeah, as far as I know. And um, one of the issues I have is to have a, uh, an image, uh, like you see on the screen here, I've got the uh, Chuck Yeager Bell X1 uh, uh, plane. And I, I wanna create this as a refrigerator magnet and uh, put a perimeter around it uh, so that when it, it engraves it all and then that perimeter is cut and so it, it surrounds the object. And I had uh, quite an issue trying to figure out how to create this in Corel and I think I finally got it got it nailed down. So I thought I'd put together this video to show you how to how to do this in Corel uh, 2019. So here's again the, is the image I pulled up from uh, online and um, it's not a it's just a JPEG of, uh, of the uh, Bell X1. So we'll take it, and I, what I did was I traced it out, and I'm going to just move him out of the way here. So I traced out the Bell X1, and this guy, we're just going to get him out of the way because we're done with him. And we're going to take this guy here and uh, convert him. What I did, um, to, you take this guy and, and you convert him to a black and white bitmap image. So you go here, go here, go uh, bitmaps, convert to bitmap, and black and white, and go OK, and it kind of fades out. And then you go bitmaps again, and outline trace. And we go outline trace clip art, and it gives you this screen here. It says power trace, and you don't have to do anything, just say OK. And so this darkens up again. And actually what you've got here now is two images. So we zoom in on the bottom one here. And I'm going to go way in. You zoom in, zoom in. It gets kind of fuzzy looking. And uh, and in actuality, and when you do a bitmap, now you zoom in and it stays nice and sharp. And that's what we want. So the bottom one, we're going to, we're going to take this guy and delete him. We don't need him. And we'll take this upper one and we'll scoot him down again. And I want to make a copy of it, so we're going to do a control C, control V, and bring him up. And this is what we're going to create the perimeter with. So let me look at my, uh, we made a copy, and we're going to take this upper one, and we're going to go object, and go group, if I can find it. Where are we, guys? Group, there we go. Group, ungroup. And then we go object and combine. And so that's the, where we go there. Then we go object, whoops, go object, break curve apart, and it goes total black. And so what this does, and you'll see here in a minute, uh, it, we're, gonna, we're gonna take, I want just a solid black perimeter, uh, 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 profile I should say. And so if you just click on just the, just the edge of this, and you can see, let me see if we get cross here, so we'll grab it. And there, now it's like, okay, this guy here is all one, one black profile, but this guy here is bits and pieces. And so the bits and pieces, we wanna get rid of it. So we're gonna select them all. I think I got them all. Delete, one more try. Delete. Okay, so now we got this outer perimeter. So it's all in black. So we're gonna um, go down below here. We've got the the fill, and we've got the there's no perimeter here. So we can go. Let's go up into. Let me just try. We're gonna go up into this perimeter, and we're gonna go hairline, and then we're gonna go. Uh, this is contour uh, alignment. And so we're going to go Effects, Contour. That's already got it selected. But go up into Effects and Contour, and then you'll get this menu here. 
So we're going to bring this at, uh, uh, let's go 0 0.12 just for the heck of it, and go apply. And there's your perimeter. That's it. It's that, that quick and easy. And it took me some time to figure it out because an earlier version of Corel, it was just, you know, 28 more steps, it seems like. So we've got it at, um, this looks like a pretty good out, uh, offset is what I've got, 0.12. So then we're going to change, uh, we're going to break that contour apart. So we'll go effects and let's see, there we go. I'll go objects, break contour apart. And then we should be able to go and select just the black again. Pull it out. There it is. And we're going to delete it because we don't need it anymore. And then we're going to select the contour and slide him down. Boop, boop. Oh, that looks pretty good right about there. Whoops. <laughs> so we got to go arrange. I can just see it here. Object. Uh, we're going to uh, order move to back page. There we go. And uh, this guy we're going to get rid of. We're done with him. And there's our perimeter. So now we can go and select them. And we're going to go object group. And then we're going to go File, Export, and we're going to call him, uh, I'm going to put him to my desktop. I'm going to make an SVG. That's, let's just call this Bell X1. And uh, that creates our SVG for the Glowforge. So that's, that's okay. And then it gives you this menu. It says uh, we're going to export. So, okay. And there it is. Um, uh, so then you can go into, um, into uh, let's see if we can bring it up. Let's see if I can bring up my, uh, my Glowforge screen here while we're, while we're playing it. So we're going to, we're just going to shrink this down because we're done with this. And we're going to go back and bring up the Glowforge page and bring it over. There I am. So I'm going to sign in. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So here I got a P-51 already and a Jenny and there's a toy airplane for my grandson and Snoopy. So anyway, uh, we're going to upload him. So we're going to go upload. And this is already my desktop, so we're going to go into finding that Bell X1 SVG. Open. And let's see, it's processing it. This is in the, the Glowforge. There we go. So here it's telling me, um, uh, well, let's, let's get the material in here, medium... Uh, let me go here. What's medium? Medium draft board is what I've got here. Select it. Okay. So I don't want to engrave this because you can see it's all solid. So we're going to go change this to score. And there it is. That's the Bell X1. And we'll shrink it down. And I'd make it about five inches let me see what i got here there's eight up on top to 13 that's it right there five inches and let's scoot him up and there we go so all i got to do is say print and uh and and um then I've got my uh, my Bell X1 for my refrigerator so that's it guys that's how you do it with uh, Corel 19 home and student edition. I hope this helps. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, you know, send me an email and I'll, t I'll walk you through it again. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, I think I finally got it nailed down to where you get a nice profile and uh, get it set up for you. So good luck and uh, hopefully we'll get a few more videos and more projects I can video <laughs> show uh, here online. All right, bye.